Hello, and this is an introduction to the tutorial where we're going to create a procedural screen, procedural tank, and then build a system to place them procedurally with each other. And as you can see here, this is one of the results that could fit in the corridor that I'm building. Then here is another variation of what you could do with it. So this is how the tool works. We have our digital assets loaded in Unity with the plugin, and we have certain values here that we can start tweaking to get different results here. So let's say that it is wider, then we can also see that extra models are automatically being placed. And we can control different things. So we can control a few parameters of the screen, where the screen is placed, how high it should be, Then we also have some settings for a tank and we can for example rotate them so they are 19 degrees rotated and they all fit nicely next to each other depending on their size then we also have settings for the frame and this is then the outer frame that combines the screen and the tanks in one piece we can also here start for example closing certain parts like we can start closing this part for example we can also start cutting off the top. So then now here we have a variation with an open part. Then when you are happy with how it looks, we can start baking this and this will output a normal map curvature and AO in my case. And I will use these maps in Substance Painter. So I'm actually gonna bring in the FBX of this model and the textures in Substance Painter and start texturing there and then bring it back in here. So this is also possible if you're looking for it. Then in Houdini, we're going to start out with a procedural screen. So you have the ability to then change how the screen looks and how big it is. So as I mentioned before, we have different variations that we can get with the screen. Then we're going to start building a base for our tanks. So it could look something like this. Once we have those procedural models, you're going to combine them in one big procedural structure. So as I mentioned before, we will have a system that automatically places, for example, here these tanks based on how big my, my shapes are. And it will automatically find out what the best position would be for the tanks to be placed. And you could use this approach in other situations as well. That was it for the introduction video and I hope you will be starting soon watching the tutorials.